Um, so are we ready to roll the videos? Sure. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you to President Sharp and the Executive Board for having me and for all of your hard work to make this session possible. As the leading voice for Native priorities in Congress, NCAI has long been a key partner to the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. This was especially true over the past year as we developed the tribal provisions in the American Rescue Plan and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Bill, the two largest investments in Native communities in United States history. And NCAI's expert testimony on other critical issues from restoring tribal jurisdiction in VAWA to bridging the tribal digital divide has greatly advanced the committee's work. But there's still a lot of work to do. We need to protect and expand voting rights, support Native economics, and pass a new VAWA that keeps Native women, children, and families safe. And with your help, we'll be able to keep making progress on these issues and continue to make a difference in Native communities. Have a great executive session. Mahalo and aloha. Hello, and thank you, President Sharp and NCAI for inviting me to speak as part of your Executive Council Leader Session. So last year, I was honored to provide the congressional response to the 2021 NCAI State of Indian Nations. And during my response, I outlined the tribal issues that we aim to address in the new Congress in a bipartisan way. And I'm happy to, to share some updates on some of those issues that I laid out just last year. So last week was a big one for a long-standing top priority of so many of us. I'm proud to say that we have introduced a bipartisan Violence Against Women Act that includes a tribal title that strengthens and further restores tribal jurisdiction over domestic violence and related crimes. It provides needed law enforcement tools, greater access to essential services for native victims of domestic violence, and most of all, justice that is long, long overdue. In Alaska, we have the highest rates of domestic violence in the country. And unfortunately, Alaska native women and children have suffered the most. To address this horrific reality, we have included in this title of VAWA, my Alaska Public Safety Empowerment Pilot Program. This pilot will help address these high rates of domestic violence with an approach that builds on the ideas of Congressman Young that recognizes the unique and very complex jurisdictional landscape in Alaska. This tribal title really would not have come together the way that it did if it were not for my partner at Indian Affairs, Chairman Schatz, and the good work of our staffs, working together with all of you to make it happen. Tribal leaders and advocates have been working for years to expand the scope of tribal jurisdiction over non-Indians under VAWA. We have worked hard to bring Democrats and Republicans to co-sponsor and support this bill, and we've got good, strong co-sponsorship. Strong tribal provisions that respect tribal sovereignty and protect Native women are too important to become a political football. We're looking forward to finding floor time as soon as possible for the VAWA bill in the Senate and ultimately getting this bill to the president's desk for signature. So let me speak very briefly about voting rights. As you saw, the partisan effort to advance an expansive voting rights bill failed last month. Now, I had supported bringing up the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. I've been working on that with my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. This included the Native American Voting Rights Act, this was a bill that Chairman Schatz and I worked through the Indian Affairs Committee. Now, I know that NAVRA is a priority for you, and I agree. But seeing that partisan efforts have stalled, know that there is a solid group of senators, 16 on both sides of the aisle, that are working together to address voter election reform on a bipartisan basis so that we can actually get important safeguards into law. Finally, We've been working together for many years on the need for infrastructure in Native communities, whether that is broadband or water or sanitation or roads. The bipartisan infrastructure bill signed into law will now allow real progress to be made with infrastructure. 
and I'm proud to have been at the table when our small bipartisan group was negotiating on that bill, and I made sure that tribes were not left out. The tribal investment that we included will help close the digital divide in Indian country by providing funding for broadband and telecommunications needs. We secured historic investments for Indian Health Service water and sanitation, not to mention the $2.5 billion to fund the outstanding authorized Indian water settlements. There is a lot of good in that bill. I know that I'm gonna be following it very, very closely as we move into its implementation. In all of this, my goal remains the same, to make sure that tribal priorities are congressional priorities. I wanna thank you all for your commitment to this important work, and I wish you a productive Executive Council winter session. Thank you so much, Senator Murkowski and Senator Schatz, on such a, a significant and important endeavor to Indian country. Your leadership of the committee has done so much to provide opportunities to our tribal nations, as well as safety during a time, this time and throughout our careers.